Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Rhine Metal Scorpion G. It's a tier 8 German premium turreted tank destroyer. It's located on the northeast spawn of Live Oaks and it's under the command of Sly Meerkat. He's got two marks of excellence on the barrel already, so he obviously plays this tank destroyer quite a bit and he should know how to handle it. It's got a 128mm gun, which is capable of doing 490 alpha, penetrating 246mm with standard rounds, and with premium, goes up to 311. Now, it's got the second best damage rate or alpha after the uh, SU 130PM, which of course is Soviet, and neither of these tank destroyers actually existed because both of them were cancelled. For different reasons. Well, didn't pen the ELC. Now I wonder how or where he actually hit. Probably hit the tracks or something else. But he certainly didn't pen it and he's pulled back quite wisely. There's no RT in this game so he's not expecting a, a shell to drop out of the sky. But if you don't pull back from this position, somebody might just try to blind fire it and see if they can get something off you. Knocking trees then is always a good clue as to where somebody is and I normally aim for the centre of the tree mass and you usually get something. They're saying or suggesting that the enemy are having a barbecue or they're camping somewhere. I don't think that's the case. They're probably going up the railway line and not many people are covering it at the moment. That Caro's taking damage. And in fact, there's a Rudy. Just slightly missed him. It went behind him. But it does kind of give an indication as to where some of the enemy team are because there is a KB-3 in the town. But there's the Hellcat. Hit him in the tracks. Tracked him. Can we get some damage assist? Yes, he does. Okay, KB-1S trying to make its way up. Lakeside. Oh, and he got a fire. But that was a premium fire extinguisher that went off. And he can finish the job. Before he can fire, he's gone. Now, the... Uh, the Scorpion is based on the Panther 2 hull, not the Panther 1 hull. And he finishes off the AMX 12 time with a nicely judged shot just as he pulled back. The gun is actually a Kanonen, which means it's an artillery gun that's been repurposed for a tank destroyer. But uh, they needed all the panther hulls for tanks and that's why they never went ahead and produced the Scorpion. Because basically they needed all the tanks they could get. And it's also one of the reasons why you don't see the GW Panther because they didn't produce any artillery based on the Panther either for the same reason. They needed the tanks, not the tank destroyers or the uh, artillery. And they were quite happy to make do with the Hummel. In the meantime, based as it was on the uh, Panzer IV. It gets another hit, this time on the Black Prince. Okay, the Scorpions had, uh, Skoda's had his three shots, but you know how quickly those things reload. And the reload on this tank destroyer is fairly long. It's 12.3 by the book, but he's managed to get it down to 10.57. So he has knocked off two seconds thereabouts. He's, well, he's approaching a full health. Oh, no, at that. He was approaching a full health Tiger P, but the. KB3 came round the corner and he thought, well, I'll have a piece of him. And he's now looking towards the Skoda and he takes another round for 503. So he's not feeling so happy now. Of course, the Skoda's only got a 75mm. And I think now that Sly's going to try and get behind him. Doesn't need to. But there is a 122TM nearby. And of course, as you know, those tanks are quite tough. Although, albeit that they don't have um, a very fast reload. Now that one didn't hit the target. And I had to wonder why, but he 
makes a bit of a booby here. He drives out in front of the tiger, waiting for the reload, and then doesn't pen, but he gets it in return. So that didn't work out as a very good exchange. And those buildings are destructible, by the way, so you don't really want to be standing in front of them because the chances are the enemy might fire and it might just go straight through the building and into him. Well, he cuts up the Skoda because he wants to get to the 122TM, uh, who's actually driven around the corner. And this Skoda seems to be uh, paying him back by interfering with him. And that one hit the tracks and you can see how angry that uh, Sly was when that happened, but the Skoda took the punishment. The 122 unleashed his shell into him. That one went through. Potentially he's got 20% of the enemy hit pull. He's pulled back behind the wreck of the KB-3 so the 122 can't get a shot. Hello. Yeah, easy hit right in the side. He stays behind the wreck. Pulls back behind some destructible buildings. He's waiting for the shell that will kill this 122. Yeah, he's gone. Only seven hit points, but it was a kill shot. Okay, Tiger P is up ahead. The The enemy's losing this badly. They've only got three left now. And the Tiger P is probably their best. No, they've only got two left now. So this Tiger P is going to take a big shell right aside. Yeah, nothing he can do to stop that. It's a high roll for 560. Now he can go up behind this guy, give him a good enema. Hello. Yep. That's it, that's game. So, quite an interesting ending there. And here's the end of battle results. It was an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat in the Scorpion G. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get 10. A five for effect for doing more damage to hit points from his own vehicle. And he did get the high caliber, yes, for dealing more damage than anyone else. At least 20% of the enemy hit pool and yes, he certainly did a lot of damage in this one. Let's have a look at team score and see where he was. Well, 4,591 hit points. Nobody else was near him. The next high scorer was the Striv S1 on the enemy team, 2,296, followed by their Tiger P with 2,199. And of course, some of that belonged to Sly as well, because he parked in front of an enemy tank whilst he was waiting for the reload to go through. Uh, the next high score after that was the Batch Apparatus on his own team, 1,895 hit points. When it came to kills, it was the Barask who did the best with four kills, then Sly with three, and the SU-122-44 on his own team, uh, also with three. When it came to base XP, it was Sly. 1,417 base experience points, 1,090 went to the ELC Ever 90, and 810 to the Brat. Big gap between those two, you might say. Uh, yes, big gap between Sly and the ELC. So, and I, I think you can see that in the amount of damage earned. Uh, he was streets ahead of the others, and uh, well, really, I suppose he had a right, therefore, to push the Skoda about to try and get at the enemy. After all, he was dealing the most damage in the game. Let's have a look at the detail report. He fired 18 rounds in the game, got 16 direct hits and 11 penetrations. He didn't get pens when he thought he would get pens, actually. When he fired at the front of that Tiger P, he just couldn't get through. But, uh, of course, he had no trouble going through the sides or the rear of a Tiger P because the armor's a lot thinner. 4,591 hit points of damage, of which 1,804 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit. It was a penetration. That was from that Tiger P. He also spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged eight of the enemy, killed three, and did 1,094 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 87,965 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away a profit of 111,254 credits. He got 1,417 XP, times two for the first victory, 213 for this being a premium vehicle, and took away 4,465 experience points altogether. So, the uh, Rhine Metal Scorpion G. I think most people have got one in their garage. If they haven't, then they're missing out, because it's actually quite a good tank destroyer in many ways. It's, uh, it compl it's complemented by the SU-130PM, and, of course, many people have got that because they have earned it during that winter challenge, where you could get it for free, 
or they bought it um, at a reduced price uh, since. But uh, these two tank destroyers are very effective at racking up credits and it doesn't take a whole lot of enemy shots to actually get those credits as well. You, you only need to get several hits on the enemy and uh, yes, you've earned enough to, to make a decent profit. But as you see in this battle, he did earn a decent profit, 111,254 credits off a battle that only lasted six minutes. So you can see that it wouldn't take long to earn a million credits from playing just this, this tank over and over and over again on an afternoon and uh, racking up a big score. I know a lot of players who've actually got Scorpions, um, and there is, of course, the other Scorpion, the not the Scorpion G, but the plain Scorpion, uh, which will get me brought out so they could sell you the same tank twice, but it's also so that you could use the thing in frontline, and if you got killed out of the battle, you could just jump straight into another Scorpion and go back in. Uh, but a lot of people who have these have very good crews on their Scorpions simply because they play so hard and they do so much damage, they earn a lot of XP. So it's definitely worth having, but uh, obviously remember that it stands very, very tall compared to the SU-130PM, and therefore you are much more likely to get hit in this tank destroyer than the other one, but uh, neither of them really have much in the way of armor either. So remember, you're a standoff weapon. You try not to brawl in it. Although, uh, saying that, we have seen Philip Arino treat his Rhine Metal Scorpion G almost as a medium tank and flank the enemy and shoot them in the sides with that big gun and... It can have pretty dramatic effects upon the enemy when you do that. But uh, yeah, remember this thing, it's ba basically paper armor. It's not really going to protect you. If you do get hit, you're going to get penetrated because uh, there's not much that will stop a shell other than the tracks. So I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.